Hello everyone, let's make a simple introduction of DLZLGR01A. First, introduce the main components. The first is leakage circuit breaker. Provide protection. Fuse provide protect. Indicator, key switch and emergency start button. Volt meter, AM meter. These are temperature meter. For simulated indoor evaporator, inlet and outlet of compressor, condenser, is a controller. The device can be turned by remote controller. Also can be turned by the red button. They are speed regulator to adjust the fan speed of evaporator and the condenser. There are six volt buttons and three indicators. There are test points. It's refrigeration system. Compressor, condenser, solenoid value. Side glass filter, high pressure meter, high and low voltage protector. Its function is protect the compressor, the power of the compressor under high pressure or low pressure. Its low pressure meter. Its internally balanced throttle value. Throttling is realized mainly through this three hand value. General refrigeration equipment has only one refrigeration throttling device. In order to let students know more about the throttling, we divide it into three ways. It's simulated indoor evaporator. Now, trail operation. The device voltage is 220 volt. Turn on the leakage protector switch. Turn on the key switch. Turn on the China using the power on button of RC or red button of the controller. Adjust the temperature of 16 degrees. This prop show the temperature here. When the set temperature is higher than the measured temperature, the device stop operation. The prop can be placed outside the evaporator. This thermometer corresponds to the temperature of the red pipe of the compressor. Its temperature will rise later. This thermometer corresponds to the temperature of the blue pipe of the compressor. It corresponds to the condenser temperature. This thermometer corresponds to the temperature in the simulated room. The fan speed can be adjusted by the knob. You may watch the fan stop. It's similar like the fault experiment. The experiment takes the internal balance expansion value refrigeration pipeline. Look at the status in the side gas. Refrigerant inside. The condenser passes heat dissipation and high pressure. The refrigerant is in liquid state. The first experiment is through this way. You can see that it's already frozen. Go to second refrigeration line. You may stop the device. Also may turn off the first way hand value. And turn on the second way hand value. Make sure the two ways are closed. You may clearly see it starts to froze. If need the device run for a longer time, you may take out the prop. If you put it in the inside of the evaporator, the device will stop once and the prop temperature is lower than the setting one. You may clearly see froze here. Now turn off the second way. Do not turn off all the three ways value for more than one minute. The way don't have any throttle value. Can control throttle through hand value. Do not turn on all the hand values to prevent liquid refrigerant from entering the compressor. 
Floors has started here. The hand value can be adjusted according to the pressure gauge pressure. Now do the first fold experiment. Turn K1 to off. Turn on the circuit breaker switch. Turn on the key switch. Press the controller switch. Then press switch on the remote controller. No response. Use multimeter to measure the test points. Turn the multimeter to AC 220 voltage gear. There is voltage here. Test the weight of controller. It has a weak voltage. Turn K1 to on. Press the controller switch. Turn the controller to cooling mode. Set the temperature to the lowest. The device start run. Now do the second fold experiment. Turn K2 to off. Now the simulated indoor indicator is now on. The simulated indoor evaporator fan do not run. After a while, you can observe whether there is a frost. Now you can see the frost is starting here. But the state do run for a long time. Now the liquid enters the compressor. Turn on K2. Here will defrost soon. It's now in no fault status. Now do the third fault experiment. Turn K3 to off. Condenser fan off. Use multimeter to measure. Turn multimeter to AC voltage gear. The voltage is normal here. Controller voltage is normal. If the fault experiment keep on for a longer time, high and low voltage protector will protect high voltage. Press the button of the high end and low voltage protector to reset. Now do the fourth fault experiment. Turn on the circuit breaker. Turn K4 to off. Turn on the key switch. Turn on the controller. Mode turn to cooling state. Now temperature turn to the lowest. Now fan run. Indicator is on. But compressor doesn't start. Use multimeter to measure. Found that there is no voltage with contactor. It means it's contactor fault. Turn K4 to on. The device starts. The speed regulator is used to adjust the condenser fan speed. If the fan don't run for a long time, the right pressure gauge will keep high pressure and cost equipment high voltage alarm. When the high and the low voltage protect the trips, may press reset button. The device may start normally. Now do the fifth fold experiment. Turn K5 to off. Turn on the circuit breaker. Turn on the key switch. Turn on the controller. The two fans work normally. 
the compressor fan don't run. If the experiment keep on for a longer time, if you don't turn on K5, the evaporator fan will power off. Now it's power off. Use multimeter to measure it. Means it's compressor fault. Turn on K5. Press on button of the remote controller. The evaporator indicator lights on, the device runs normally.